Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my entertain with me video. I'm gonna be sharing a very fun charcuterie spread, a really simple DIY, a bubbly cocktail, and also a mini dessert recipe. So if you are looking for ideas, if you are hosting this year, hopefully this gives you some inspiration. I know this year is looking very, very different for everybody, but if you are hosting a very intimate gathering or just looking maybe for some date night ideas, I hope this helps. So if you like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you. I make new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And with all of that said, let's get into the video. So for this charcuterie spread, it's a little bit different because we're using craft paper instead of like a tray or a wooden board. So you're going to want to get your favorite charcuterie spread items, cheese, fruit, salami, olives, crackers, whatever it is. I got everything from Sprouts and you're going to go ahead and roll out your craft paper. And then just start placing all of your items on the craft paper. You can use different bowls, different dishes, whatever you want. The only thing is when you're placing like the salami or the cheese down, make sure that's the space you're going to keep it because it will leave behind like grease and residue on your craft paper. So you're going to want to make sure you put those in the right place. Once you have everything where you want it, then you can grab a pen. I'm using kind of like a calligraphy pen to just write all of the different items. It just gives your charcuterie board a little bit of character. And you can also do like little doodles like flowers or Christmas trees or stars or whatever you want to do. You can just make it your own. <music> You want to do an activity like a DIY if you are hosting these ornaments are so so cute and so simple and I just love how they turned out so I saw these done on Kristen Cole's Instagram I'll link her down below and I just got so inspired by hers because it is so simple but the end result is so pretty so I picked up all of my floral and craft supplies from Joann's and everything is usually like 50-60% off when it comes to florals so I got a really good deal on everything. So you're just going to want to go ahead and cut all of the little floral arrangements into smaller pieces so that they can fit into your ornaments. I got the plastic ornaments from Joann's. They do have glass as well, but since I have kids, I'm using the plastic ones instead where the top pops off and then you can put whatever you want inside. I wanted to go with more of a boho feel, but this is also a really fun craft to do with your kids, to use glitter or like fake snow and ribbon and little figurines if they'll fit through the top. So this is a great DIY for whoever you're making it with, whether it's an adult or a child. I didn't love the string that came on the ornaments so I just simply removed it by cutting it off and decided to use macrame yarn instead to just tie a simple bow. <laughs> Again, these are 
are just so incredibly simple, but they end up looking just so beautiful and they're great to put on your tree. They're great to use if for gift wrapping, they're great to use for decorations, whatever you want to use them for. I love a bubbly cocktail. I especially love like Moscow mules. So I found this recipe on Pinterest and it's super, super simple. All you need is champagne, ginger beer, vodka, blood oranges and lime, and also mint. <laughs> So I did cut the recipe in half because I was just serving Matt and I and we didn't need as much alcohol. But again, the recipe will be linked down in the description box below so you guys can get all of the appropriate measurements for your party size. <laughs> You can leave the drink as is, but I think adding a little garnish just kind of gives it a little bit more pizzazz. So I'm adding some blood orange slices and then some mint to the top to add a little bit of color and a little bit of extra flavor. I absolutely love cheesecake, but I can sometimes get intimidated in baking cheesecake, but these were super, super simple. I found the recipe on Pinterest, which will also be linked down below for these mini cheesecakes, and you need like minimum ingredients, and they turned out so, so good, so easy to make, and I just love anything that's a mini dessert. It's cold What's cool about these is that you can completely customize them if you want them to be Oreo or pumpkin or strawberry or caramel. They're super easy to customize. You just bake them in a muffin tin and they turn out so, so cute. I went with the more traditional cheesecake with the graham cracker crust and that's just my absolute favorite. <laughs> So you do bake the crust first and then when that is completely cool you can add in the filling which you'll see me make right now.
for these, you don't have to bake them like in a tray of water or whatever, you just simply put in the muffin tin and you want to make sure that you do watch them because if they start to crack then it is getting a little bit too dry. But you do want to pull them out when there's a slight jiggle to them and then they will set on their own in the fridge. I added strawberries to the top of mine, raspberries would be really cute, like whatever fruit you want to use, or if you want to use some sort of sauce. Again, they're like so customizable and so easy, tasty, and cute. All right guys, that is going to conclude today's entertain with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I hope it gave you some ideas. If you are hosting this year, or if you will be hosting, somewhat further in the future. I really appreciate you watching today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!